I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix, two countries. What heart? Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica Chica, Chica, Chica Philippines, Philippines update. update. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't go quite as smoothly as normal. So we are here in Sabonga. And we are Mama. staying at Mama and Papa's. Hello. Hello. That's Mama and Papa, and we have new. We have new family members. Salamat. New family members. What's their name? Well, someone named one of them Summer. That's Sunshine. Or su uh, Sunshine. I'm sorry. Summer is in Phoenix. Sunshine is here. Ta-ding! That's Sunshine. And we have. The big brother, we call it BB. Because it's older brother, my brother calls me. I call that BB, big brother. Sunshine so is the little sister. Yeah. By Kuya. This is the little sister, Sunshine. Okay, so we got Sunshine and Kuya Rusi. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's true. We're actually gonna do Chica Chica from inside summer or er, sunshine today. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to our Chica Chica, Chica, Chica Inside, Inside Sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> that we decided it'd be kind of cool to do Chica Chica Inside here. That we've done Chica Chica in a bunch of different places, parks, beaches, yes. houses, you know, different and rooms in the house. Now it's in sunshine. Now it's in sunshine. Maybe one day we'll do Chica Chica on, 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 on Kuya Rusi. Bibi. Big brother. <laughs> Bibi. <laughs> okay, to give you an update. Um, Obvious we, obviously. Obviously, we got the vehicles delivered. Yep, Sunshine and Big Brother. Uh oh. The, the Rusi dealer was really cool that he had a couple guys uh, ride the bikes out or ride. Uh, the Rusi out and the other guy rode a scooter out that he was able to go back to the shop with and so he did get it that unfortunately the weather yeah it's the rainy season it is it's like raining every day and it's like 20 minutes or more and it's raining every night and we get the chance to try out our, our rain, rain gear. gear it was so fun <laughs> <laughs> We bought some rain gear for our for, for the Rusi and for rides on that. That that way we can just throw it on the bike and, and go. Yes. And unfortunately, since we bought it in Phoenix, it we hasn't never rained. tried it in Phoenix, so we tried it here. Well, is it like Tuesday? I know Wednesday. We arrived here Tuesday. We tried it Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. The Wednesday. days are kind of running together. Yeah. And um, I tried to take the bike out. Yeah, and it's really and there's, there's a field behind the house that we were able to clear a path to get to. And th there's a lot of people that actually do take trikes. That it's a shortcut to somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. So there are kind of dirt paths, roads. Yeah, but, but they're way bad muddy. That it's pretty deep. I'm surprised the trikes can go through there. But there and again, you said there's a lot of small lakes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of small lakes in there. And you fell? Uh, yeah, I want to play in it down with the back tire and the front tire just went opposite directions. And uh, I just set it down, but I was doing maybe a mile an hour, if that. Yeah. So no bad problems, no bad damage to anything. More wounded pride than anything else. <laughs> and Papa <laughs> run quick, as quick as he could. Yeah, I, did, I I knew Papa got there real quick after I dropped it down, but I didn't see that he'd ran out. Yeah. Uh, but after that, him and I just did. He kind of helped. He walked in front of it and kind of scouted out. A lot of these mud holes are, are covered by grass, so you don't see them. Yeah. And he was able to kind of scout out and, and find a reasonably dry path to yeah. get back out of the field. And, I have uh, snapshots on that. With you and Papa, I didn't. I have a video with you driving on that dry land, but not on the one that you felt. So, oh well. 
But uh And we arrived in Papa's and Mama's place last October thirteenth. We got here on the thirteenth. The and then our barangay captain advised even though we have a negative results on our swab test. Yeah, we, we the still we had a negative through. result that was three days old. Yeah, and we still need to go through home quarantine for fourteen days. So anyways, um Oh, Even yeah. we try to insist, I guess that's just their protocol. So now we're on day five, we're quarantined, so nine days to go. <laughs> yeah, the 27th we get to come off. The other goofy thing is the, I thought it was a Brongai captain. Cindy said no, but it's the someone else in the go government. LG, the ILG. That they wouldn't let me drive here. Yeah. That even because though. you're a tourist. Yeah, even though the uh, land the uh, even though it's allowed, the, the the their Department of Motor Vehicles, uh, if you're here less than 90 days, you don't need you you your American license or foreign license is good. We might need to print it out to someone tell you, hey, you're not allowed to sit here. You're using your website. Yeah, and, and we may need to do that real quick, but uh, I, I think most the police would know. Yeah. But it's just a matter of, you know, the local official didn't know and he didn't want us to do it. So fortunately, the dealer was really cool and provided a driver that happened to live here in Cebuna. Yeah. Not too far from where you're at. Yeah, it's in here. Oh, the, what do you mean, the LTO? No, the, the, the driver where he lived. Oh, yeah, it's there in the mountain. Oh, okay. the realist. We call it realist. But, uh... That kind of brings us up to uh, this point. Uh, yeah, and then we have our live stream also last Sunday. And to give you a recap on that. The two big takeaways from that is make sure you have got all of your paperwork, paperwork. all your I's dotted, your T's crossed, have copies of it, have any, any letter that you need to, like sure. when we were coming in, I had the 13 AVs, I had copies of that, I had copies of my passport, uh, yeah. and if you're coming in on, on some rule that may not be terribly common, make sure you got printouts of that rule, that there were five or six people turned away that Eva wouldn't let them fly. Yeah, from so, uh, Seattle, going from Seattle to Taipei. Definitely make sure your paperwork is in line. Yeah, and, and the other thing, the the airlines are doing what they can to generate extra revenue. Make sure to weigh your hand carry. Hand carry, they are really strict in your hand Make sure carry. your bags are, are, are weighed in correct weights that... On their website because, yeah, that's what our takeaway do. We need to pay. For our first time ever, we got our hand carries weighed. We got our hand carries weighed. And I, I will continue this beef it was not posted and I showed you on their website it was not posted for weights yeah and we've always just might went, as well just if you book a ticket just call the airlines to verify the weights because that's one thing we did not ask because we got used to it with not you know weighing our hand yeah, carry yeah I've never had a carry and carry then it winding up the end it's um, you know it's, we got stuck with a $150 charge yeah. uh, that we had to check one of them yeah. And just put a bunch of stuff in it to and get the other ones my down. my sneakers, uh, my slippers got missing too. So, anyways, yeah. that's just... Yeah, there was a, it's a, a couple deal. of minor things that, that turned up missing. So, yeah, just be warned that, they, that, that they're liable to do what they can to generate a little extra revenue by enforcing some rules that may not normally be enforced. Yeah. Uh, other than that, the experience wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was over good. And I'll then, post a link to the... The, uh, the live stream the live and stream then, video. um what else uh we played in the rain like what you said yeah we had a lot of fun we played in the rain we and opened the balik buying boxes oh, yeah, that we, we sent the... last july it we, we mama and papa received it last september last month yeah yeah we sent them back in july and they actually only took two months to get here yeah so we opened that one and what the other good news too is we have internet installed the yes. pldd they call it fiber, but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure that it, it it's genuine fiber line. Yeah. That we've got like five up 
or five down MBBS, and like eight up yeah. um, uh, MBBS. So it's kind of slow for a fiber line. Her sister-in-law was saying that uh, this area may be on the end of a fiber line trunk. Yeah. Which those speeds would be kind of expected after everybody else has tapped into them. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it's okay. Maybe we will try more to do uh, upload. We try to see how many minutes when we upload this video, the Chica Chica video. Yeah, I did an upload for a... Uh, uh, the hotel review, the Yellow Door review, that I'll post a link to that here. Uh, that it was a really cool place. It was uh, the last, the last place we went for uh, vacation birthday. over her birthday. Yeah. And that was not a huge video, but it was a decent size. It was a little like over eight hundred minutes, bang. nine minutes video. And uh, yeah, about seven nine minutes, yeah. and it's about eight hundred meg. Yeah. And it only took about 12 minutes to upload. So, so that's, that's a not good bad thing. At all. And then one thing we also do is we went to your dental appointment last on our way out of 12. Yeah, on our way out of Cebu that I've got a tooth that I broke back in junior high. And the dentist just you know, it was the 70s that they just pushed it back in and and cemented it to the uh, tooth each side of it and yeah. gave it eight weeks and it seemed to heal and it's been fine for the last 40 years yeah but when i got it, it had always been a little bit loose but when i got dentures it put weird pressure on the back side of that tooth and I, i'd complained to the dentist a couple times about it and he said don't worry about it don't worry about it but here uh, about a month before we left it broke the the tooth finally broke loose from the root and there's a little piece of root stuck up inside of there yeah. uh when i got the partial i actually asked the dentist about getting it pulled at that point and he was quoting me twelve fifteen hundred dollars copay wow. to get it pulled and, and i just wasn't in, in that and it, at that point it hadn't been that big of a deal and so we just said to heck with it but at this point it's not a choice that it's just flopping in the breeze and so we uh we have the quotation for for pulling your teeth that's three thousand to five thousand pesos and they give you also a quotation for um for the partial that's like twelve thousand pesos and um there was x-ray the consultation and everything cost you 1940 and the quotation also for cleaning because we will have a family dental thing on october 30th so me yeah, mama talked, papa and you we talked with the dentist about it and the the three of us agreed that at, at that point it was pretty sure we were going to have to come back for the quarantine yeah and they said yeah that uh the the dentist was willing to pull it that day but uh, agreed that yeah it might be best just to hang off and that way if anything does you know he, he doesn't think so but you know just on that off chance you know an infection or whatever sets in if i'm stuck in quarantine it'd make it really hard and, and potentially a bad thing to to try and get out because of that so yeah let's get the quarantine over with let's get everybody happy that we're not sick with covid or anything yeah and then and any problems with the tooth, not the not COVID, but uh, so we're actually book our hotel on October 29th, going back to Ayala, and then we will check out on the first of November. And we finish our quarantine on October 27th, and JJ's birthday on this is October 28th. It seems so I'm the, like the dates updated here. You're the, the date, date lady, <laughs> the day, you're the detailed person. I'm like giving you more, throwing all the dates there that uh. Yeah, because the twenty seventh, I want to take I want to take the uh, Ruthie yeah, out for a ride. Yeah, as soon as we get the certificate, so we, I need to make sure to get that certificate. Yeah, because that's the one thing that the little short ride did show me is that I need to get some more time on the bike before I want you on the back of it. Yeah, and now uh, it's been over a year. Yeah, because it was we planned on being back here long before this, but the the bike wound up being stored for almost like fourteen months. Yeah. Uh, and I want to take the uh, the sunshine out for a little ride that we can go down to Argo or something like that. Just get a little bit more comfortable with it. And, yeah. Because uh, the 29th, we got to go back up into Cebu into that kind of traffic. 
you drive. <laughs> and uh, I'll watch you first until I until I get ready driving here. Well, from here to car car, you might be doing okay. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, then I'll probably just drive that one all together. Then part of the reason why we got the automatic is to make it a lot easier for her to drive. So the so sunshine could basically be her vehicle and BB as you the the Rusty will be will be what I'll primarily drive. So. But that That's kind of brings us up to date. It. Yeah, we'll keep you updated the more we have activities. We are in quarantine, but we try to keep ourselves busy. Uh -oh. And if you have comments, questions, then please like also. Uh, we'll try to take your input. Yeah. I'm trying to convince her to maybe do try and do a live stream once a month. Yeah, we'll try to do that. Maybe, I don't to, know. To check our internet to internet, so. Yeah. But if you guys would be interested in it, definitely uh, make Give a comment a on comment. that. And that might help we'll push us one way or the other. So, <laughs> Mabuhai! Ma